you know the song Swanee? How I love you. Mm -hmm. The beginning of it starts is almost exactly like a canter. A Jewish canter. I've been away from you a long time. I never thought I'd miss you so. I know that you, you're calling to. So I'm going to do some jazz. Having heard that, which is a lot of the Jews were from Romania and that area in Warsaw, um, I'm going to play you some jazz. <laughs> myself back if I know a little bit strange. Your body language is totally different from the folk music than it is yeah. for the jazz. From the jazz. It's fascinating. Yeah. It's probably a good thing I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, at the same time, uh, when jazz radio came out, Brazil started going quite mad in terms of jazz because they already had a thing called Chorinho, which is kind of based based on um, French quadrilles and Spanish versions of Sp it's quite complicated, but it does sound a lot like jazz, but you'll hear the slight difference. This is called Dodge de Coco, which is a song for a lady called Coco. So you dance a little bit folky and a little bit jazzy. Yeah, it's, sort of, <laughs> it's, it's still African rhythms, isn't it, with European uh, influence, so slightly different version. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, this is, I don't know how I can possibly relate that to what I'm about to play. I don't think there's any connection whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go to Greece. And now for something completely different. Yeah, basically. It's called a Zebekiko. It's danced by the, the Greek army. It was danced by the Greek army. And it tries to imitate being drunk. Uh, because the count goes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So that kind of, at the end, they have oops. these. Yeah, exactly, the oops at the end. They call it an aksak in Turkey, which means broken leg. So, um, so. <laughs> or whoever to start again and they start their steps again. So you'll hear little stops in there. Um. And then klezma. Do you, has anyone heard the term klezma before? Mm. So when the Jews <clears throat> went over to America, it's kind of like salsa. So you had mambo, uh, cha cha cha, and all these types of dances that existed in South America. The early South Americans went to America, so they created salsa as a, something that all of them could come together and play because they went in their own country also. So klezma, you had all these different styles of uh, Polish, Romanian, Bulgarians, all these different people. And they went over to America and they did exactly the same thing. So they created klezma, and people would ask them, "What what music are you playing?" And they say, "Music, just it's music, you know, it's just music." But the word for music is klezma, um, and the klezmorim is the vessel of song. So the actual word itself is kind of a misunderstanding of the of Jewish language, Yiddish language. But it's called klezma anyway. But it just simply means songs from Romania, water, Poland, and all that that sort of area, usually on the clarinet. But I'll start with uh, so Liam's teacher introduced him to Klezmer, wasn't it? Yeah. Teacher, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was quite a good idea that. <laughs>
I'll take yeah. over for you for a little while. Yeah. Uh, well done. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Well done. Nice. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah. Each should be dancing. 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 Each should be dancing.